I just stop by to let you know that I can't let you go away. Hey y'all, hi, Jenna here. So I'm going to show you what I use to do this, the way my hair is. It is the Cortex 4-in-1 Clipless Curl and Iron. This Clipless Curl and Iron is a fan height. It's from Cortex. They have other companies that make it as well. But I just bought the Cortex because it was cheaper and because other people that I had talked to, they liked the product. I got it for $73.99 off of Amazon at the time. I bought it in December of 2011. Now it is $83.99 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put a link down below telling you where I got it from and where you can buy it from. It's a really great product. I recommend it. It is totally worth the money. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and check you guys later. Bye! I don't have any products in my hair whatsoever except for what I'm about to put which is a heat protection spray. Now what I'm using right now is the Tresemme. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this all over my hair and this helps, you know, of course, protect it from the heat from the curling iron and such. So you just, you know, just spray it everywhere and then just let it dry. So now you can let this dry and while you're doing that, you can turn on your clipless current iron. Mine's already on, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So all you do is hold down the on-off button for a couple of seconds, and then you press the up button until you get your desired, desired temperature. Now I put mine to 430. So after you put in your heat protectant, you're going to want to section off your hair. Now the way I do it is I put normally on this side three sections. This one takes longer because there's more hair, but whenever I first do is this little notch right here but you're going to want to take this and section it off you can use a hair clip or a ponytail or just anything you want to hold the top part back but you're going to want something that is very secure so what I normally use is just a normal clip so whenever I curl my hair I normally take one section at a time and do I do the first one I always do it away from my face, the second one toward. I reverse it so that way it doesn't all stay together, it's all different types of curls. So whenever you curl your hair, you can either do it at a tilt and angle, like so, or you could do it like this. It does not matter. I normally do it at an angle. So you take your desired amount of hair, I normally just do like this big, actually a little bit smaller. I do this small of a strand. And I'll take the corpus curling iron, and now we'll start from the top, wrap it, and then just keep on working my way down. So you're going to hold it there for, for 10 to 15 seconds. This all depends on how loose you want the curl. Mine I want pretty tight, because whenever I do mine tight enough, they'll stay for like at least two days. And so then you release and pull it up, and now you have a perfect curl. It's that simple. So I did this one away from my face, so now I'm going to do the next one toward my face. Once again, small section, even though it doesn't look too small. Brush it out just to get all the tangles and knots out. Now instead of going from the back, you're going to go from the front, and you're going to do the same exact motion. See, the good things about these type of curling irons is that no matter how many times you mess up, and if you need to, you can always rewind it and pull it out to where it'll stay. Oh, hello. And there won't be anything wrong with it, which is really, really awesome. There you go. Two really pretty curls. So now I'm going to do that with the rest of the bottom half of my hair. So yeah. Sometimes when you have big chunks like this, you want to take your finger and put it down the middle and put it into two parts. You want to take this part right here, wrap it on your head and clip it with something smaller to hold that hair back. Then take this part and do the other section that you were going to do. And whenever you do that small section of hair, 
the one that you pinned up earlier, you're going to take it out and do the exact same motion you did with the one with the smaller section you curled. So this one I curled inward, so this one I'm going to curl inward. So now, right now you have, see it doesn't really disrupt it, it puts it all together. Right now you have three sections of curls. You could have did the same thing with this one, but I just kind of, just do whatever. Whenever you have small sections like this, aka the flyaways, you can take it and do the same thing. I just normally curl it away from my face. Just kind of hold it there for a couple seconds and let go. Give you a nice little curl to blend in with the rest of them. So now you can do the rest of your hair. So now that you are done curling all of the bottom section, it's time to work your way up to the top. So the next section that I do is half of that notch. So about where your temple's at, and you just take your hands and go all the way to the back. And put it back with the clip. So with this one, I'm going to go the opposite direction that I did with the first one. So we're going to curl inward. Probably should have did it outward. Yeah. Hmm. Do I want to fix it? Yeah. Let's fix it. Let's go the other way. So same method with all this, inward, outward, inward, outward, you get the picture. Word of advice, it hurts when you burn yourself with this thing. You could probably cook an egg on it. A little experiment. Okay, so now you have the first and second layers curl all of it as you can see whoo, you're probably gonna feel like curly q but wait we're gonna take it to the next level we're gonna go the last one well as most of you will have the last one the top part mine will be one and then two and three so it'll be four more sections pretty much so once again exact same thing So I got that section I need it to done. Now, now all I have to do is this one and that one. Since my hair is layered really funny, it's going to be like really weird. So what I do is take this section right here and pin it back. We don't want all that hair in my face. So we got working with this straight layer right here. All this. But if your hair is parted funny like mine is and has more hair on the other side than the other one and your hair is kind of thin, you might want to do this. Same old technique. Oh, and you don't want to put it too close to your scalp or you'll burn it. It does not feel good at all. Holding your hair this is really, really good. Makes a cute little mustache. It's talking all video on this whole time. And now comes the top top part. Now you can either section it in half and do it like that or do it just as one big thick part. The very, very top portion, I tend to do all in the same direction, going outward from my face, just because it looks really nice. 
Okay, so you're finally done curling your hair. And so here comes the fun part. This is what I always love doing. Number one, if you want your curls to be very fluffy, you're going to use like a big powder brush, something like this, and take it and pull them out like this, but like in a whipping motion. But make sure you grab the hair, of course. You can also keep it like this. They're very tight curls. I mean, whatever, whatever you want. If you want like more retro type deal, you're going to want to do this. I take my fingers and just run it through my hair. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So, uh, yeah. Now, this might look like a bit much for now, but honestly, whenever you stay out like this for hours, it will calm down and it'll look so much better, especially if you have the layers like I do and the more hair on this side than this. This will calm down. For mine, because my hair will stay to a certain extent, I don't put hairspray in it at all whatsoever. I never have and it will stay, I promise you. For two days. If you do not wash your hair, it will stay for two days like this. You will not have to use your clothes curl iron for the two days that you wear your hair like this. You will not have to use it. It will stay like this. No hairspray. No other products. Just the heat protectant. And that's it. Honestly. It is amazing. I love this clothes curl iron. I will never get rid of it. If it ever dies, I think I'm going to have a funeral for it. I'm going to have a funeral for it if it dies. Not joking. So, uh, yeah. That's the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed this. And stay tuned for more. Adios, amigos. I think I'm done. Hello, beautiful. I just stopped by to let you know that I can't let you go.